Simon Leviev's success came from his uncanny ability to trick people into thinking he was something that he wasn't. His apparent life of luxury, as fraudulent as it was, proved attractive to the women he matched with on Tinder. He was the ideal match to them and in an instant swipe right, if you will. In the minds of his victims, the fact that he had chosen to swipe right on them was nothing short of remarkable. If his Tinder profile piqued their interest, the overpriced dates he took them on sent them head over heels. He gave the women he matched with lavish gifts with eye-popping price tags. Their rich new boyfriend made a point to take them on adventurous nights out, dinners on private planes, and joy rides in luxury cars. Leviev explained his tremendous wealth by telling his victims he was the son of well-known Israeli billionaire Lev Avernovich Leviev. The real Leviev was nicknamed the King of Diamonds because of his portfolio of investments in the diamond mining industry. The Tinder swindler took this as an opportunity to call himself the Prince of Diamonds, lying to his dates about how he made big bucks as a diamond dealer. The rich guy with rich parents persona that Simon Leviev portrayed was a complete and utter lie. Simon Leviev was not even his real name. He was actually Shimon Hayut, a fugitive who had been on the run from the Israeli authorities for years. Before he ever called himself the Prince of Diamonds, Hayut faced unrelated theft, forgery, and fraud charges, calling cards for his future Tinder swindling. He escaped Israel before they sentenced him and ultimately settled in Finland. It wasn't long before he found himself in even more hot water when the Finnish police were on his tail for defrauding three more victims. He was sentenced to two years behind bars and eventually returned to Israel in 2017. However, he fled the country once again. Back on the run, Hayut decided it was time to adopt a new alias to conceal his criminal identity from the outside world. He started calling himself Simon Leviev and roamed Europe in search of people to swindle with his made-up backstory and seemingly endless access to cash. In reality, he only had eyes for his victims' cash, and he used the web of lies he'd spun to con them into giving it to him. One of the innocent people caught up in Leviev's sinister scam was a young Norwegian woman called Cecily Fijeloy. She moved to London to write her master's thesis, loving it so much she made it her permanent home. Cecily and Leviev linked up on Tinder one night, and before long, she found herself swept up in his intoxicating lifestyle. During their initial face-to-face -face meeting, Leviev invited his date to accompany him to Bulgaria. He told her he had a business meeting for his company LLD Diamonds. Cecily was overwhelmed, but she decided to tag along on this sudden trip despite having just met the guy. As Cecily herself tells the story, Leviev had irresistible charisma, making it hard for her to say no to his outlandish requests. He was surrounded by his posse the entire time they were together. His bodyguard, business partner, and personal security all boarded his private plane en route to Bulgaria. Cecily has said that this was actually quite comforting to her. The fact that Leviev had a group of people willing to jump into action at his every back and call only made him seem more credible and trustworthy in her eyes. After the trip to Bulgaria, Cecily flew back to London. Even though they continued to flirt with each other daily, she questioned whether or not she'd ever see Leviev again. As it turned out, their relationship was pretty much the only thing Leviev was concerned with, but not for any of the reasons she hoped or expected. A week after their first meeting, Leviev hopped on board his private jet and made his way back to London to see her. Cecily honestly believed she had found the one. She was reassured by the fact that her new boyfriend always seemed to have time for her. It all seemed almost too good to be true. But Cecily was falling in love and she truly believed that Leviev felt the same way. Roughly a month into their relationship, however, he told her that some of his competitors in the diamond industry had started making death threats against him. He claimed the threats were so serious that he didn't feel safe going to London to see her. Leviev made a surprise visit to her in Oslo while she was there on business, but things started getting weird after that. He asked Cecily for her credit card information, claiming his security team had advised him to get rid of any digital trail his enemies might use to get him. Cecily bought this excuse and gladly gave Leviev her card. It seemed like things were getting back to normal after that, and they even made plans to move in together once the security situation was taken care of. Things finally came to a head after the couple had been dating for three months. 
Leviev started sending Cecily pictures of him and his bodyguard covered in blood from apparent fights with his rivals. He asked her for even more money to help him get out of Dodge. She obliged without a moment's hesitation, even taking out a massive loan to help her boyfriend out of trouble. In the end, she sent Leviev over $200,000 with the expectation that he would pay her back in short order. But that never happened. Leviev sent Cecily a bank statement showing he paid back the loan, but the document was fake. She sent something was very wrong and ultimately cut off all communication with the man she believed to be her loving boyfriend. She reported him to the authorities in both Norway and England, and that's when she learned Leviev had already been convicted on three counts of fraud for situations that were eerily similar to the one she currently found herself in. As it turns out, Leviev had been operating a kind of romance Ponzi scheme. He used money he stole from one victim to bankroll the lavish lifestyle to charm the next victim. The money he swindled from the second person would go toward his pursuit of a third, and so on. According to Cecily's bank statements, Leviev used the money he stole from her to pay for airline tickets for another female acquaintance, a Swedish woman named Pernilla Schloholm. Leviev first got in touch with Pernilla on Tinder in March of 2018, which happened to be right in the middle of his relationship with Cecily. While their involvement was romantic at first, Pernilla says her relationship with Leviev transformed into a close friendship as the months went on. Much like Cecily, she was fascinated by the scammer's suave, larger-than-life personality. The two had known each other for eight months before he ever asked her for money. Leviev, it seems, had a consistent M.O. He lured victims in with his extravagant lifestyle, meticulously earned their trust for months, then exploited that trust by stealing their cash. Pernilla first realized that she'd been conned when she was contacted by the Norwegian newspaper Verdans Gang, better known as VG. They were already hot on Leviev's trail with the help of Cecily, who had offered VG journalists access to her digital correspondence with the swindler. Now it was Pernilla's turn to help catch Leviev before he zeroed in on another victim. VG coordinated with Pernilla to bring an end to Leviev's con. She decided to confront him once and for all, allowing VG exclusive access to the whole thing. Pernilla traveled to Oslo and gave her former best friend a call. The VG cameras were on for this climactic confrontation during which Leviev insisted that Pernilla's claims about him were nothing but lies. Throughout the contentious phone call, Leviev can be heard shouting angrily at Pernilla as she tries to get him to admit to his misdeeds. He refuses to do so and instead challenges her to show him any evidence of the crime she's accusing him of. Unfortunately for the Tinder swindler, Pernilla had kept the receipts and could verifiably prove that Leviev had used money belonging to Cecily and others to pay for gifts he had given to Pernilla during their relationship. Leviev even goes so far as to threaten Pernilla for double-crossing him, saying she'll pay for her betrayal with more than just money. However, it seems those threats were empty as the VG hit piece on Leviev proved to be his downfall. By telling Cecily's and Pernilla's stories, the newspaper shined a massive spotlight on the swindler that made his international notoriety soar through the roof. In 2019, Israeli police finally caught up with the swindler following a joint investigation with Interpol and Greek law enforcement. Leviev had used a fake passport in Greece, which resulted in him being taken into custody and extradited to Israel. He had initially fled the country to avoid standing trial on fraud allegations, but now he found himself right back where he started with brand new criminal charges to his name. It's been reported that Leviev's Tinder scams from 2017 to 2019 resulted in the theft of $10 million from his various victims. Who knows how much the Prince of Diamonds stole in total since his defrauding days began back in 2011. Even though he was caught dead to rights, Leviev continued to deny he was ever involved in the scams he was being accused of. He claimed that the victims of his crime were the true monsters and that their allegations against him spawned from pure selfishness. In December of 2019, he was sentenced to 15 months behind bars, but only served five months before being granted early release. The decision shocked his victims, who felt like the justice system had stabbed them in the back. An outraged Pernilla Shlohom vented her frustrations in an interview with the Israeli news outlet Channel 12. Another victim, identified only by the initial D, was so hurt by Leviev's release that she openly wished for the con artist to die from the coronavirus 
so he wouldn't hurt any more women. Ouch. A woman known solely as victim A felt betrayed by the court's decision to grant an early release for Leviev. She expressed her belief that he would undoubtedly get back to his swindling ways in no time. Victim A was soon proven correct. It seems Leviev's commitment to lying about anything and everything has no boundaries. Even after spending time in prison for his constant scheming, he got right back to lying, this time to get an early COVID-19 vaccine. In December of 2020, he made his way over to a vaccination center in the city of Nybrak. Although he didn't actually qualify to receive inoculation, he impersonated a medical worker and managed to sneak in to get vaccinated before he was supposed to. Simon Leviev has continued to lie and lie as if lying was his full-time job. His behavior suggests he hasn't actually learned anything from his past convictions. It seems almost inevitable that he'll find himself caught up in another ruse soon enough. Click here to watch one of these next videos. And let us know in the comments whether you prefer to meet someone in real life or meeting them using a dating app.